Deus Ex Mankind Divided was released in late August and is a follow-up title to a very successful game from 2011 from Square Enix. This game was incredibly well received by critics and is built on the new Dawn engine. Impressive visuals keep the game looking cleaner and sharper than the previous Deus Ex title. Just over a month ago, the developers released the DX12 patch to the game, enabling the new API for improved performance on many GPUs. At the time, you had to enable a beta flag on the game in Steam, but with an update this week, that's no longer the case. Also in this new build is the first support for DX12 multi-GPU, no longer dependent on an AMD Crossfire or NVIDIA SLI technology. But as you can see in the results, only AMD is currently supported. I ran some quick tests comparing a single and dual Radeon RX 488GB card configuration against a single and dual GeForce GTX 1060 6 gig setup, all using the very high quality preset. At 1080p, the RX 480 is 16% faster than the GTX 1060 with a single GPU. When we add in a second card, the GTX 1060 sees no scaling, while the Radeon RX 480s show almost a 60% increase in the average frame rate. Looking at the frame time results from Presentmon, we see that smoothness is not sacrificed at all. When cranked up to 2560 by 1440, the single RX 480 is 18% faster than the GTX 1060, and again, is the only set of cards that scales in DX12 multi-GPU mode. In fact, it scales nearly perfectly linearly. Our frame time graph still shows a very consistent delivery cadence, and I saw no instances of significant stutter while playing with the dual RX 480s. Deus Ex Mankind Divider is just one of several new DX12-enabled PC games that show AMD's Radeon graphics cards able to take performance leads over competitive NVIDIA hardware. Add in the ability to scale with multiple GPUs, and it's clear that Radeon is putting all of its weight behind DirectX 12 implementations. 